the thing you're spraying on it, you just gotta pop, up, pop it all out of there. Take it down to the screen. And wash out real good. Make sure you get everything out of it and then we'll put it back together and put it on. I'm also going to clean around the edge. This one is really blocked up. And there's... You can see how that one right there is closed. So all these little holes have to be open to get that to work right. So I'm going to work out on that. Alright, I got all the stuff on those little holes. They're all wide open now. And I clean it all out real good so nothing goes back in there. The screen, you just rinse out real good from the opposite side. Make sure you get everything. Okay, let's put them put back together. We'll put our remember in there and put the gasket back on it. When you get those little white particles, more than likely it's coming from your tube on your hot water tank where the cold water goes in it and incinerates a lot of times on the older tanks. I'm hoping the new tanks, you know, solve that problem. Alright, let's try it now. Oh, we're a little better there, but... There's still going to be something holding that up, I'm not sure. But we've taken everything, taken care of everything right here that we could to solve a low water pressure problem. It can also be in the house water too. The main supply may not be adjusted right here. Alright, let's try it now. I actually found a valve under the sink that wasn't fully open. Wow, <laughs> there's a big difference, huh? But our, our washer was still mad and our strainer still need to clean that. So, we still need to make those repairs. So there we have it.